does the word Allah mean? Where did it come from? And is it only found in Islamic scripture, the Quran and the statements of the Prophet Muhammad? Peace and blessings, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The answer, of course, really simply, is that the word Allah is a definition, a description. It really comes from the concept of Al-Ilah, the only one worthy of worship. Ilah, in the Semitic languages of the region of the Middle East today, Hebrew, Aramaic, and of course Arabic, those ancient languages that preceded the time of the Prophet ﷺ also used words like Elohim or El. And therefore, some of the statements that you and I know, for example, Gabriel or Jibreel السلام, it comes from a construct of the very same word. Jibreel comes from Jabarut, from given from Elohim, the one who's given strength, Jabr, and, and power by Elohim, by Allah. Ismail, Ishmael, Sami Allah, the one who hears the invocations of God. Of course, Bani Israel or the Israelites, it comes from the nickname given to Jacob, Yaqub alayhi salam, Asra Lillah, the one who traveled by night due to the command of Elohim, Allah. And therefore the word Al-Ilah is compounded into Allah, the greatest definition and description of the Almighty Creator of all that exists, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah commands us in the Quran to say, Ilahuna wa ilahukum wahid. In Surah Al Ankabut, Allah says to us to say to the Jews and the Christians, Ilahuna wa ilahukum wahid. Our Lord, our God, the one we turn to and worship, and the one you call out to and turn to and worship is the one and the same. Now, of course, what separates between us is what they believe about God may be at times different than what we believe about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the word Allah is not foreign, it's not an invented word, and it's not in reference to the moon god. In fact, it's in reference to the very same eternal uh, being, subhanahu wa ta'ala, most elevated and high be him, who has been called out to by all of the generations that have passed. If you were to ask Abraham alayhi salam, who do you worship? It would be the only God worthy of worship. Moses, who do you worship? O Israel, your Lord is the one Lord, the one God. And that's taken from the Bible. If you were to ask Jesus, it would be the very same statement that the context of who is Allah is about the description of the nature of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he is the one and the only one worthy of worship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala defines himself clearly to us in the Quran and he begins the most magnificent verse in the Quran, the most important and what is referred to by the Prophet sallam as the greatest verse, a'lamu ayah fi kitabillah, which we will study throughout the um, journey that we will have together in discovering our relationship with Allah. He says in ayat al-kursi subhanahu wa ta'ala describing himself, Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyu al-qayyum. He is Allah. La ilaha illa hu. There is none that is worthy of worship, adoration, fear in its completeness, hope and in mercy in any greater capacity than only for him. La ilaha illa hu. His essential description, al-hayyu al-qayyum, of the greatest attributes and definitions of Allah is that he is the all eternal in life and he is the all-sustaining because of his ability, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who is Allah? He is the one that all nations have turned to in worship, but some have been distracted from that purpose through shirk, which will be the next definition that we would discuss.